I feel like Elon Musk just started a new Yo Mama joke. Like you can say Yo Mama is so fat that she needs to be on a Falcon 9 heavy lift rocket in order to get her out of bed. Yo guys, so you know, you've probably seen pictures of a car floating around in space on the internet. And I'm hoping that you're asking yourself, why the hell is there a car floating around in space? So the reason why there's a car floating around in space is all thanks to Elon Musk. Elon Musk, who I think he can best be described as a real-life Tony Stark, and he is the CEO of SpaceX, CEO of Tesla and The Boring Company, with his company of SpaceX in particular, they were designing this Falcon 9 heavy lift rocket. So when we talk about heavy lift rockets, it's basically as the name implies, a rocket that's basically capable of lifting up a heavy load. So this Falcon 9 heavy lift rocket was in development for many years. It's not like Elon just put this together yesterday. This company has worked on it for many years, many setbacks, but they finally accomplished the goal. Now, this thing is extraordinary. It has a combined total of 27 engines and is capable of lifting up a payload of up to 140,000 pounds. Now, this is the fourth largest large capacity heavy lift rocket right behind the Saturn V, which is the rocket used to send astronauts to the moon. So what makes this really cool is really two things. Number one is Elon basically proving that this could be done and in doing so, he used reusable rockets. And this has been SpaceX's big kind of game-changing technology, really. So think about things that get launched up to space. Those two side boosters that like pop off, they're done, one and done. What SpaceX have been doing is they have been making these reusable rockets. Uh, so basically, when they launch something into space, the rockets will come back down and they can reuse them for another launch. So with the Falcon 9 heavy lift rocket, when they launched into space, you should have seen that landing. The landing was beautiful. It was timed perfectly where both of the rockets touched the ground at nearly the exact same time. So not only is this really just aesthetically pleasing, this cuts down cost a whole lot. So what SpaceX is really doing is they're paving the way for the privatization of space travel, and this could really have a big impact for companies that want to get into this space endeavor. Because right now, most space stuff or most things are going up to space is being funded by defense contracts and stuff like that. But it'll be cool if we get in a position where any private company can now send whatever they want up to space, um, maybe even space travel or something else like that. Now the second reason this is cool is because Elon wants to use this technology to eventually send people to Mars. It's a very, very ambitious goal and originally he wanted to do this by 2023, but with the technology of the heavy lift rocket, it makes it more feasible to do so. So another cool thing is when this rocket launched, it had Elon's personal Tesla Roadster car, uh, mostly just because they wanted something that's very insignificant to send up, but something a little more exciting than just sending up like cinder blocks into space. So the car is the best option, along with the uh, dummy sitting in there and the don't panic on a windshield. And of course, there's a copy of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because what else could make this all better experience? But so guys, the whole point of the story is that this Falcon 9 heavy lift rocket launch was a success. It really is starting to pave the way for the privatization of space travel. And it really shows how SpaceX is coming along with their reusable rockets. They're able to send very large payloads into space. So guys, tell me what you think about this rocket launch in the comments below. If you watched it, tell me what your reaction was. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.